Reports indicate that residents of Nabiri, Nakperi, Naburuku, Namba and many others are deserting their communities to neighboring Togo after 15 communities in the Tripony district are alleged to have been raised. The Tripony district coordinating director, Alaji Alhassan Fuseni and his driver are allegedly to have been shot by a faction in the conflict. The vice chairman of an awful progressive group, Swaliu Amidu, indicated the situation is more serious than it has been reported. He said, women and children are fleeing as more communities are under attack. He claims the security situation is poor, making it difficult for vulnerable groups to stay in the area and requested government to intervene. Five persons have been arrested over the conflict. Uh, we're trying to work on the telephone lines now. Speak to DSP Yusuf Tanko. He speaks for the uh, Northern Regional Police Command. Uh, he joins me on the telephone. DSP Yusuf Tanko, thank you for time this evening. Now, this comes barely 24 hours after the president uh, was in that particular region, specifically the Northeast region. Now, we understand some 13 people have been arrested. Uh, can you update us on this and indeed confirm this figure and tell us what the current situation is where you are? Yeah, thank you very much. And good evening to your viewers. Yeah, so far, both police and military, our combined efforts, we've been able to arrest eight persons. Five of them were taken to court this morning. The eight are on their way from Chirponi to Tamale, and their cases will be referred to regional CID, and they will investigate their cases and put them before court. They are believed to be part of the people who are fueling the conflict in the area, and these are made up of both concumbers and uh, chocosis. And we are doing everything possible to ensure that the situation is brought under total control. Uh, we have been patrolling widely, taking intelligence on the ground, listening to distress calls and reacting to them. And that has prevented a lot of uh, burnings that would have happened in the communities in the interior. Now, we see pictures on social media of houses being burnt and people fleeing the area. Now, what's the level of police presence uh, in the area, I mean, these two areas? Because this yeah. is not the first time such a thing is happening in these two communities. The level of police and military presence in the area is very huge and extensive. But you agree with me that Tripoli and Sabuba district combined. It's not a small landmass. It is a very vast landmass. There are places that are not even motorable to even uh, strong uh, vehicles. But that notwithstanding, we are doing our very best. At, at, at some point, our men will have to tread to be able to assess some of the communities. And we are everywhere. We are everywhere. But you understand that we can't be everywhere at the same time. It is patrols. That, that we are organizing at these vast areas. And we've, been man we've managed so well to bring the situation under some control. So that with a letter, we'll be able to deal with the situation and peace will return. Well, but, but this incident happened on Saturday. From the uh, information we're picking, there was some burning today as well. So are you considering calling for reinforcement? I mean, because of the continuous occurrence of this particular since Saturday? Yeah, we have a lot of men on the ground as I speak to you. And uh, my brother, I tell you that if we should bring all policemen in the three northern regions to the police, we still cannot occupy every nick and cranny in the area. But we need to do effective patrols, which we are doing. We are also appealing to both the Kunkumbers and the Chukosis to give peace a chance to understand that the best way out of this is to resolve their, their conflict uh, using, the, uh, using the courts, using the police, using traditional authorities, using relevant organizations, but not to uh, pick arms at the least opportunity. That is not the way to go. So if these appeals do not sink down well to them, uh, we have a problem at our hands. No matter the number of security personnel to be employed in the area or deployed in the area, it still be difficult. But uh, our men on the ground have been very professional. They have been very uh, proactive and they've been conducting extensive patrols, and that has even uh, helped to bring the situation under control.
Uh, any, any casualties since this incident on Saturday? Yeah, so far we have, we have recorded about three injuries and also a death. Sad. Yes, we. I want to thank you very much. Uh, we have our eyes on on this particular situation. Uh, in the subsequent bulletins, we get an update on the DSP. You see, Tanko speaks for the Northern Regional Police Command.